Hey art friends, today we're drawing a car. What are we drawing? A Ford Bronco. Yeah, we hope you're gonna follow along. This is one of my favorite cars. You need your drawing supplies. We're gonna use markers, but you can use a pencil or whatever you have at home or in your classroom. You also need some? Paper and some colors. Yeah. You ready to start? Yes. Let's start with our paper turned horizontal so that we have room to draw our Bronco nice and big. We're drawing a side view, but let's draw the ground first and we're gonna draw a bumpy line that starts over here on the left, comes over to the right side, and we're drawing a bumpy since the Bronco is an off-road vehicle. Yeah. Nice, good job. All the way, you did it. Now let's draw the wheels. And we're gonna draw big off-road wheels and we're gonna start with the front wheel and we're gonna draw on the left side of our paper. So maybe right about here. And we're gonna come up off the ground for how big the tire will be. And maybe right about here. And we're gonna draw a circle, it comes down, touches the ground, back up and connect where we started. Nice. Let's draw a four-door Bronco. So we're going to draw the back wheel kind of way back here. I'm going to start in the same height and we're going to draw another circle, maybe right about here. Come down, touch the ground, back up. Oh, I'm going to draw that a little bit different. I'm going to come out further like this around so it's a little more round. That's okay because we're going to color it in black at the end maybe right about, see, your wheels are a little smaller, so let's put it right about there. That's a good spot. Okay. My wheels are big. <laughs> <laughs> nice job, you did it. Now let's draw the inside of our wheel. We're gonna draw the rim next. We can draw maybe this big, draw another circle inside, and I'm gonna draw another one over here the same size. Let's also draw a smaller circle, really small circle on the inside. We can add more details later. Now let's draw the body. We're gonna draw the bottom or the rocker. And since it's off road, we wanna draw it high yeah. so that it can go over big rocks. We're gonna start about halfway up the wheel and we're gonna draw a straight line to connect to the other wheel. Then let's draw a short line that goes through the, behind the front tire and comes out the front. And on the back, let's draw it a little bit bigger, but watch this, I'm gonna angle it kind of up too. A little bit longer, yeah. Now let's start at the front and we're gonna draw another angle coming up for the front bumper. Then we're gonna draw it going straight up. And this should be right in line with the top of our wheel and we're gonna come in and connect to the tire. Before we draw any more, let's draw the wheel opening. We're gonna draw a big rainbow line. It's got a half circle. We're gonna come up over the wheel so that we have clearance for the off-road stuff. And we're gonna draw a big rainbow line or upside down you. So come up past, there we go. I like drawing the wheels first. It kind of sets up our vehicle. We're gonna do the same thing back here. Draw a big upside down you that comes up to the same height. And we're gonna come down over here on the right. So it should match with the front of our car. Nice job. Now let's come back to the front and we're gonna draw a straight line coming up from the bumper. And we're gonna be just above the wheel. Then we're gonna add a short diagonal line coming forward or back towards the back of our vehicle. Now let's jump over here to the rear of our Bronco. We're gonna draw the back bumper. We're gonna come up and it's a little shorter than the wheel. And then connect straight in. Now let's draw the rear gate. We're gonna draw a straight line coming up and we're gonna come up pretty high. Past the, yeah, there you go. And then we can draw a short diagonal line coming forward at the very top. All right, now let's draw a straight line coming towards the front of our vehicle and we're gonna stop right in front of the back wheel. So we're gonna draw a straight line coming here and stop. 
Then we're gonna draw another diagonal line coming down. And then we're gonna draw a straight line that comes all the way to the front. We're gonna come all the way like this and connect to this diagonal line. Oh, I love drawing cars. Same. It's so much fun. Yeah. Now let's draw the windshield and we're gonna start right behind the front wheel. So right here, we're gonna draw a diagonal line that comes up and to the right and not too high. The top part of the Bronco is not that tall. Yeah. Now we're gonna draw another diagonal line right next to it that matches. Let's draw this line even a little taller and then we're gonna draw a curve that connects. Let's draw it with the roof off and let's draw the roll bar next. We're gonna start just below the windshield and we're gonna draw a horizontal line that comes towards the back of our car, back of our truck. It's already almost yeah. starting to look like a Bronco. It does, huh? And then right here, we're gonna draw a curve. We're gonna start curving down and then we're gonna draw a diagonal line that comes and connects down here. Good job, Austin. That's the general shape of our Bronco. Let's add even more details. Kay. Let's first draw the front line to our door. We're gonna draw a curve that comes down and connects to the rocker. Oh, let's make our rocker a little thicker. We're gonna add another line, horizontal line, the bottom of the door. Now let's draw the very back of the rear door. We're gonna start here and draw a line that connects down to the wheel opening. And then let's also draw the middle of the two doors. We're gonna draw it right about here. And we're gonna draw another curve. Next, let's draw another line for the roll bar. I'm gonna draw it right next to this one. We're gonna come back here and then right at the end, we're gonna curve and connect just like we did with the first line. Now let's draw the B pillar. That's this part right here. It's kind of a funny name, but we're gonna draw two lines coming down right on top of the door, the door line. A B pillar. Yeah, it's called a B pillar. This is the A pillar, B pillar, and what do you think this pillar is called next? C pillar. C pillar, you're right. We're gonna start here and draw a line down. A, B, C. Yeah, A, B, C. And then we're gonna draw another line right here coming down right in front of it. And then we'll draw a diagonal line right here. Now let's also draw the steering wheel. We're gonna draw two diagonal lines coming out right on top of the door. And then up at the top, we can draw a curve to connect. Let's draw the side mirror next. And it's black, so we're gonna draw right on top of the A pillar, draw a line coming straight up. Then we're gonna draw a letter C to connect the top down to the bottom. Next, let's draw the headlights. We're gonna draw, and the grill, we'll draw a short line coming to the right. Then we're gonna draw a line down and curve into the front. Let's also add a little side marker or a reflector looks like a rectangle shape inside. And then right here on top, we're gonna to draw another diagonal line that comes up, and then draw a line to the right, and then we're gonna connect it in. What should we draw next? The tail lights. Tail lights, let's do it. Right here, we'll draw a horizontal short line coming in. Then we're gonna draw it down, and then a diagonal line to connect back out. Let's draw the spare tire next. We're gonna draw a rectangle shape right on the end. We're gonna come up from the back of the car, then draw a horizontal line to the right. Then we'll draw a vertical line all the way down to the bumper, and then connect in. What are we missing? Uh, door handles. Yeah, there's no way to get into our Bronco. Let's draw a rectangle shape right here on the top right of the first door. And then we're gonna draw that same size rectangle 
on the back door. Let's draw one more thing before we color our Broncos. Right here, we're gonna add another upside down U for the fender. This is the part that covers the wheel. And then we'll do the same thing over here. We'll just match the same shape going over our tires. Awesome, we did it. We finished drawing our Broncos. Well, we're not completely done. We still need color. Yeah, this part is my favorite. We are gonna fast forward, so at the end, you can pause the video if you wanna match our same coloring. Or you can color it any way you want. Yeah, you can pick your favorite color to paint your Bronco with. Well, yeah. color it. <laughs> you ready to fast forward? Yes. We did it! We finished drawing and coloring our Bronco. Yeah. Our Ford Bronco, and it looks awesome. I love that we colored it Ford blue, too. Yeah. You guys can color your Broncos any color you want. You can also add extra details. Yeah, what do we add? The push bar on the front and also the roof. Yeah, and we also added rocks. I added highlights on the wheels. Oh, you added highlights, too, yeah. to make it look more round. And then also we added off-road tread to our tires. That makes it look even cooler. Yeah. We have a lot of fun drawing a Bronco. We do. We hope you had a lot of fun and we hope you take time to color and add extra things to your drawing. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Bye -bye.